Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today I'm going to be showing you my finishing up bins. So I finally went through and sifted all of the various bins that had to be commingled due to the um, rat problem, and now I've got them all sifted through a half inch screen, and now they can start their finishing up time. So there are six of them. And um, it has been a while since they've been fed at all because I just couldn't, couldn't get to them. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to start doing a horizontal migration on all of them. Luckily I have a buildup of food in the house and there should be more than enough to get these guys going. And what I'm going to do is as I migrate them out, I'm going to move them to the big boy. until I get some room where I can restart the lasagna bin and um, some of my other experimental bins. So being that I did sift it through a half inch screen, what I have left is the leftover bin. And I'm going to restart that series. I did have a leftover bin series originally and then somehow or other it just kind of went away. So what this is and that, they are both what is left over um, a half inch screen and of course any of the worms that were holding on to the things that were at the half inch screen. So there's quite a bit of worms and quite a bit of avocado pits, corn cobs, um, the biodegradable bags, tea bags, um, cinnamon sticks, and various other things that are just not done yet. So I have a bin and a half of that. We're going to do a separate video on that so I'll quite about that. Today we are looking at baiting out these bins. Now as I was going through sifting I was pleasantly surprised to see the population of worms although not as much as usual before the rat issue is a lot better than I thought. I imagine there's a pound or two give or take in each one of these bins. So I was pleasantly surprised. They're very small at this point so they must have mostly hatched from new cocoons, but I'm very pleasantly surprised that the population is not as decimated as I thought it was. So let me go grab some food, put you on a tripod, and then we can start feeding them up. Alrighty, the light is not super great because of course the light is being used for the hot peppers. But you should be able to see well enough. So on this bin, I mean you can see the castings are, maybe, maybe you can, maybe you can't, hold on. Um, the castings are pretty good. They're just about done. Um, so really I think it should not be too big of a stretch to get them to jump ship and move into the brand new food. Especially let me see if I can get a handful so you can see the size of the worms. Ooh. They're pretty small. Didn't see a lot of cocoons as I was doing the sifting. But we've got some bananas here. And tea bags. All right, bananas, avocados, and tea bags. Oh my! We'll just cover them up, kind of flatten it out so that it also can um, dry out a little bit. And I'm going to cover up the feeding zone with bubble wrap. So there we go. Feeding zone is covered, and then we will move on to the next one. So same story, nicely finished castings, Let's see if I can find some worms. You can see the wormies are pretty small, but they, are, they exist, which is um, 
Merry Christmas to me. There are some worms that still exist. These guys are going to get about the same story. Fruit. These guys are actually going to get a hot dog bun. More avocados. And then we're going to cover them up. This um, is pretty damp, so I know that it would not have gone through my normal screen, which is why I'm just covering up the feeding zone. The rest of it needs to dry out quite a bit before I can get it through my normal 1 12th screen. And over here. in my own light. So castings still looking pretty good. Worms very small. So I'm just gonna since this one's kind of difficult to get at I'm gonna pocket feed them. So they're gonna get more hot dog bun, tea bags, avocado, I think that's a cucumber. And I'm going to cover them up as well. And get them their bubble wrap. All right, I'm going to take you off the tripod, or at least the tall one. Put you on the floor so you can see the underneath bins. at this guy. They are all pretty much in the same situation. Little tiny worms. The castings are nearly done. Hot dog bun, cucumber, some tea bags. little bit of bubble wrap. Right, so this may or may not be super interesting but this is kind of my record of what I'm doing for these guys so that when it comes time to um, do the harvest I will know what I've done. So more tea bags, more hot dog bun, The goal is not really to give them all the same thing, it's just to use up the food and also get these guys moving to the corners. And the last one, light is atrocious on this, I'll see if I can't fix that post process. And that's the rest of the hot dog bun, avocado, tea bags, and cucumbers. And some bubble wrap. There are all the little grow up bins all all fed up and we will come back and look at them in a week and hopefully get some more volunteers for the big boy. Alright guys if you like the video give me a muddy thumbs up and if you're not already a member of my worm family click that subscribe button and if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it bring that little bell icon. Alright guys thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. Everybody have a good day.